The round knife, sometimes known as the head knife, is one of the oldest and most versatile knives used by saddle makers and leather crafters worldwide. In this program, we will show you how to sharpen and use these knives to cut leather. Many times when you get a new uh, head knife or round knife, uh, it'll be sharpened, but it's not really sharp enough as it should be. So uh, if you'll start with a kind of a coarse grit stone and uh, pick up about a 16 degree angle and make sure you start at the point. And then as you come to the top part, Go back the other direction. And come back. When you get to the top, go back the other direction. And maintain that angle. That's very important. And for sure, do both sides. It's very important to maintain this angle. And take your time and make sure that we get a good edge on your knife. After your coarse stone, uh, go to a medium stone and get your oil on there and then take your knife and starting at the point, go across the stone as you see me doing here. Again, we're maintaining our 16 degree angle. Notice I have my fingers out over the blade so that it doesn't flex too much. Now we'll turn it over, do the same thing on the other side. Please note how I make sure that I Start on the tip and come toward the center. Next we will go to a fine stone. Again we get oil on our stone. And we make sure we get fingers out over the blade. And maintaining our angle now, we go from the tip to the center just as we did before. Turning it over, after you have uh, sharpened your knife, it's a, we need to keep it stropped and I've made a strop here with just a piece of thin leather cemented onto a uh, piece of uh, one by four wood, I'll rub this with the jeweler's rouge, and now we can strop our blade. As you see now, when stropping the knife, I'm pulling it away from the cutting edge, and I'm making sure I cover the entire blade. You should do this every time you pick up the knife, and every so often as you're using it, uh, to make sure that it cuts nice and smooth. When you actually start to cut leather, there's a few things that I can tell you that will help you. Number one is your cutting surface. Uh, this case here, I've got a, on the top, I've got a poly cutting board. Uh, it's pretty good because the knife slides across it very easily. Another popular board is the hard rubber cutting board. And it's also fairly easy to cut on. My favorite is what we call the Pro Cutting Board. And uh, 
It's really good. Knife uh, slides along it real easily. Now normally, normally when you're cutting a piece of heavy leather, you might think it's a good idea to use a straight edge. Well, I think it's better to just put a guideline on there and then follow it with your head knife. Now, always keep your fingers back. And you'll notice I'm holding the knife in the palm of my hand with the handle back in the palm and my two fingers out over the blade. Now I can start, make sure you keep your fingers back away from the blade. And once you get started, tip it forward. As you tip it forward, you can see now I have more blade into the leather as opposed to when I'm up like this. This will help you go straight a lot easier and you have more of a cutting edge onto the leather. Uh, normally you can cut it with one pass like I've done here with the piece of heavy leather. When you're cutting an edge that's not straight, you will start the same way with the blade straight up and down, but you do not tip it forward. Whenever you're cutting curves, as you see me here, it's best to hold it upright and get less of the blade into the leather. When cutting the tip of a belt, I uh, like to use templates. I have a template here and I will just do one half. I'll make a mark, one half. And now, keeping my fingers well back, I will cut the first half. Now I will flip it over and mark the back. And I will cut it from the back. The reason I'm doing this is for safety purposes to keep my hand well back of where the cut is being made. And we have a nice tip for our belt. When we're doing a tapered end belt, we'll do it the same way. Here I have a template. I'll trace my mark with a scratch all. And then with my knife, I will very carefully Start here with the knife straight up and down. After I make my curve, I can tip it forward and follow my line all the way to the end. I will do the same thing, tipping it forward if you want to finish off the end. Make your mark on the back side. and cut. Making sure you hold your knife straight up and down, keeping your fingers well back from the cutting edge. To do scribing, I recommend you do it on a piece of smooth marble or, or plate glass. And you'll notice here I have a guideline and keeping my hand well back, I can skive at an angle now. Notice I'm allowing the blade to ride on the marble. This is how I control the depth of my skive. And by putting a guideline, I have it back as far as I want it. If you want to make a sharper bevel, it's just a matter of tipping the knife up a little higher as you see me doing here. Let the tip of the knife ride on the marble. If you're doing a 45, just put your blade at a 45 degree angle, keep it against the marble, and push it straight down. 
And that's all there is to skiving and cutting bevels. To learn a whole lot more about using a round or head knife and also how to use and uh, take care of many other tools, I would suggest the Leathercraft Tools book by Al Stolman. It has many, many different instructions on how to use the head knife.